So hello everybody! Today's video we're going to talk about something called data lineage and it is quite an interesting concept. If you never heard about it, think like this. Imagine that you work in a medium-sized big company and uh, you have a model in front of you, updated, and then before you publish you should always think, okay, what happens if I update this report? Which other, or this model, which other reports are consuming the model that will something break? How do you know? It's hard to know, right? How often should you schedule, report, uh, schedule refresh a report? Again, it depends on which other reports are used in your model and how often the requirement for update is for those. And how do you know? Well, it's been quite a hard job to do this before, but now they have simplified it with providing data limits, which is, it, it is like, um, and you, you know, like, a, how is it called? When, when you, your ancestors tree, so you know where you come from and where your parents came from and where your grand, so, you know, you create a tree and you can go back and forth and see who is the cousin of who and who is the parent of who. Let me show you. So this works obviously in Power BI service because Power BI desktop is just an isolated model. Nobody cares, but this works for Power BI uh, .com for the service. So what you need to go, you go to this, um, you know, you click on the workspace. It's on workspace level and you need to have a pro license, by the way. Let me check. I have the documentation in front of me. You need to have a pro license to see lineage view and you have to have access to the workspace. If you don't have it, obviously you have not access to this. And users who have an admin member contributor role in the workspace will have permission. Users with the view role cannot switch to lineage view, cannot do this. Okay, so you have to have admin member contributors role. So let's look at this. Now, unfortunately, I don't have like a super complex example that I could show you, but you, you will see anyhow. Uh, and they have here on pictures, probably something. Okay, so here's the thing. Here you see the blue one and the icon is for data sets. Then you have for reports and then you have for dashboards. And then you can, if you click on here, you'll see the lineage for that one. If you click on, you know, go back, you click that. If you go here, you'll see the actual report. And then you can go back here, there is the breadcrumbs to actually see, you know, go back to your data lineage view, which was great. Uh, you can then go to here and then you'll see analyzing Excel. Why not analyzing Power BI? Anyhow, quick insights, settings and view usage metrics of the report. Which is quite good, actually, if you're, you know, planning to do any scheduling or you need to you contact something like, uh, what are you using this for or whatever. You'll see who's using the report. You can you have a better idea. Um, here you have a create report. Okay. Uh, security refresh. Now, it looks like it's the same as you have on the, on the other view. Download PBX uh, and schedule refresh. Awesome. So for... Dashboards, you have the lead settings and view usage metrics report. Good. I have here on their documentation, I will post a link down below. You can see, for example, here there are multiple reports and those reports, they have one common dashboard. So if you do a change in this report, obviously if you delete a view or something, it will affect maybe the um the dashboard so you can go and visualize the report visualize the dashboard and say can i delete this and if you still want to delete it contact the people that are actually viewing this dashboard to know what to do so this is basically allows you to see the historical and the connection between the different uh, reports dashboards and data sets to manage them better cool, isn't it? And if you create a report, you can see who is using my report and where. And then you can see if you want to promote it, certify it. Yeah, you get it. So that's all for data lineage. Check it out if you have complex data structures and uh, 
I'm sure it will help you. Let me know what you think about it in the comment box and how you're using it as always. And uh, this is all for today. Take care. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.